Now here's a stock valuation problem, and this is a situation where there are no dividends, at least as of right now, uh, but there are beliefs that at some point in the future, the firm will start paying dividends. And so let's look at the information we're given and then we'll determine how to proceed. So for the first several years, um, up to actually year seven, so eight years away is when the first dividend is going to happen. So up through year seven, we've got nothing going on. And then in year eight and nine and forward, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have some dividends. And so the first one is what? It's $2 and 73 cents. So that goes right here on the timeline. And then after year eight, what's going to happen? Future dividends from that point on are going to grow at 2.6 per year. So G equals 2.6% per year forever. And so this is what we would call constant growth. Okay. And so we can immediately see that the Gordon growth model is going to apply, but we're going to make an adjustment. So recall that the Gordon growth model tells us the price of a stock is equal to the next dividend divided by the discount rate minus the growth rate. But the timing is key. And so as we originally learned it, this was a P0 and this was a D1, right? P0 and D1. The really important thing here is that, that there's, a, there's an increment of one between uh, the P on the left-hand side and the D on the right. And so in the context here, um, let's just go and see where the first dividend is. First dividend is at time eight. And so let's put an eight there. This is gonna be D8. And so when is this price gonna be true? It's gonna be the price at time seven, right? So this is gonna take us to a two-step problem. The first step is to find the price at time seven. And so we know that P7 is equal to $2.73 divided by the discount rate, which is 14.6% minus the growth rate of 2.6%. Okay, so there's our first step. So let's go ahead and solve for that price. So that price at times seven is $22.75. Okay, so that's not the answer, that is uh, just an intermediate step, okay? So what can we do now? Well, we can keep this number in our head and go back and rewrite the timeline in a different way. And so I'm just gonna uh, write over this in green. So the green is gonna tell me uh, my new timeline. So in green, I'm going to put this 2275 right here at time seven. And what that means is I no longer have to think about any of this stuff. All I need to think about for this stock now is a single cash flow seven periods away. Uh, and that cash flow is $22.75. And so how do I solve for the price today? I'm just gonna discount seven periods. And so P0 here is going to be 22.75 divided by one plus my discount rate, raised to what power? The seventh power, because it is a time seven cash flow. And so today's price should be $8 and 76 cents. So this right here, that is the answer, $8.76.